I made mistakes in my life. I've learned from my bad choices. I'll know better next time. Don't mention a person's past mistakes when they're trying to change. That's like throwing rocks at them while they're struggling to climb a mountain. Yeah, let's talk about that on the Boss Ladies Live radio show. Spreaker Studios, sponsored by Boss Ladies What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Welcome back to the Boss Ladies Live radio show. Speaker Studio, sponsored by Boss Ladies, Inc. Welcome back. Welcome back to another show. Got some quick announcements. We are in season one. If you're new to the show for the first time, um, this is season one. And we'll be running season one for quite some time. I used to break it up per month. But now that I've got all these bookings for these different uh, events and promoting and doing some new things... I thought I'd draw out the season like the season, you know. So we in almost we're transitioning from uh winter to spring. So, you know, spring is coming up, people can get out a little more and do little things, but um part of networking um is through the podcast, it's through Facebook, Twitter, different things like that. So our next uh couple shows are gonna be about that. And then I'm gonna show you how it goes down on the Dadiski Diane. Um, page. So if you're on the Boss Lady page or listening right now, you'll be able to get in touch with that on that Dadiski page, that particular show, because I want that particular podcast to be, and I did make a video off of Instagram, if you haven't checked that out, uh, the Dadiski page is one podcast, Boss Lady page is another podcast. Boss Lady page is about life, love, and leadership, entrepreneurship, personal, professional, and financial development, and also current events. The uh, the Dadiski page is about all about the music, promoting artists, any events that's coming up, comedy shows, anybody that's a manager that's looking for artists. This is the place to be right here on the Boss Ladies Live radio show. So I thought I'd tell you about that. And we are live in the chat room. So let's welcome Mr. PB the Don to the show. <laughs> And then we got Teresa Taylor in the house. Salute, what's going on? Let's welcome Teresa Taylor to the show, y'all. Yeah, yeah, let's get this thing started. Yeah, upcoming uh, episodes is pretty much what I wanted to talk about to start with. Upcoming episodes. Um, yeah, we got two podcasts. You're on the, currently, you're on the Boss Lady uh, podcast, which is Life, Love, Leadership, and Entrepreneurship, but I do want to open up, if you are an independent artist or independent, any type of artist, you know, it could be drawn to music, I'm with that, whatever you want to promote, that's fine, I could definitely get you on here, we are connected with YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus at the time, I will be starting, um, yes honey, thank you so much for your support and getting on the show, glad you found everything, everything went okay, yeah, so um, shout out to Teresa. Shout out to BB to die for the support and the love uh, coming all the way from the Ta- Austin, Texas area. Um, uh, also, too, Teresa, let me know where you're from. I can shout you out where you're from so everybody can tune in. Um, yeah, and follow us where we're going. So basically, um, like I said, it was two podcasts. You're on the Boss Lady podcast, but the Dadiski podcast is going to be all about the music, more music, more guests, 
that do hip hop, R and B, jazz, um, all different types of genres, pop. I'm welcome to all of that because I'm a human archive. I love music. Yeah, shout out to Chicago, y'all. Teresa Taylor coming straight out of the shy. You know what I'm saying? It's going down. Definitely going down. Yeah. So the first announcement I do want to make. I'm in the process of making more professional promo videos. And then we can get together. If you're, it's your first time, I will allow the free promo for your first time. Get you out there. Get your audience built. But also there are some radio interview packages that I want to put together. So I will be talking about that in other shows. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to make sure everybody gets noticed. It's professional to the point, you know, I'm just getting something in for some good software you know, Apple products is the best product to get if you try to build a studio. And that's what the boss lady's trying to do, build a new studio. So in the process of that, I won't be, you know, working off my phone too much because it's been blowing up, man. I put one more app on here. It is over. I'm telling you, <laughs> it is definitely over. So I got to watch what I put on here, you know. Uh, it's, it's, it's real good to, um, you know, get the right tools that you need to make everything a success. I want to, um, you know, get the cable so we can start also to doing video interviews on the Spreaker podcast video style. So we got a lot to offer, just not just audio, but we also have an awesome thing. It just came in for the boss team department that Spreaker will be going visual pretty soon. I just got to get the hookup, the software. And once we do that, I will announce that and we are good to go so um what else um i'm gonna be starting uh radio interviews with um different people to get be a guest on the show just to give it a feel of everybody so they can see who's gonna be on the show until i get those promos together so i'll be having a new one for myself and then i'll be making them according to your liking so the promo is simply the videos that i've been putting on who's gonna be on the show you see their picture you see mine what time they're going to be on and what the topic is. And that's all I would need if you wanted to be a guest on the show. So if you want to be a guest on the show, just give me the day, the time, and your topic. I do not pick topics, but I do put the topic together so we can have a successful show. So I want to make sure it's all about you. And Teresa says, mine are done, LOL. I keep burning up all my devices. Right. You know, it's time to get that laptop going. It's time to get that good software in your thing so you can um, do what you need to do and make it as professional as possible. Because like I always say in all my shows, you never know who's in your audience. You never know who's in your audience, who's watching you, who's looking to promote you. So the best way to do it is to research and find out, you know, how more professional you can be. And that's pretty much what I want to touch on tonight. Um, also, too... Um, I'll be starting radio interviews as of next week, um, live from 8 o'clock to 8.30, because time is all we got. We can't get that back. We could probably get some money back, probably get a new this and a new that as far as material things, but we can't get the time back. And then that way we can proceed to Spreaker at 9 o'clock, and then that way everybody can connect there. Just until I get that software for the Skype connection on the Spreaker podcast. So I'm excited about that. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh my goodness, really? When did this happen? Did this just happen or recently? I'm sorry to hear that. I hope everything goes okay, Miss Teresa, with that. Um the device is catching on fire. That's not a good thing. Um you know, much love to you on that. Uh, hopefully everything will get back up to snuff. You know, you need some assistance on getting some things done. I definitely got, uh, Boston Department does help with uh, fixing software, computers, um, tablets, different things like that. We can set up something, inbox me, let me know if you need that information because we want to make sure that everybody that Boss Lady represents is going to have the best success ever pr promoting their things. And one thing, you got to have your tools together. And all your ducks in a row. Because like I said, you'll never know who's in your audience. So um, keep in mind, um, looking to bring more guests on the show for their topics. We already got Teresa in the building. We already have people to don, you know. And put your music on here. Give it to me. Send it to me um, by email only. 
um, your your song and your best picture so I can put that on your promo for you. Okay, so that's what we're going to do that. Um, Spreaker, just a little bit of history. Spreaker is worldwide. So as soon as I'm going online, I'm all over the world right now. So this is a huge. And it's audio style just until I told you about that connection with Skype through the podcast. And if you're an artist, a promoter, or a record label, this is the place to network. So on that note, let's get some EDU in our lives. School is in, and yes, I'm going to be talking about why healthy habits make you a better musician. Why healthy habits make you a better musician. If you're in music, this is the show for you. Um, We want to make sure that everybody has that chance of getting the best possible things that they want to promote and things they want to do. So I'm all about professionalism, first and foremost, partnerships, uh, building more relationships. So I think this was a good way to network. You never know who you're going to meet. I had somebody one time when I was just starting this and I went live and somebody came all the way from... Colorado from Twitter never linked up with him never asked him to be on the show he just came because he was looking to find some new ways to connect so it's an awesome opportunity um 20 I got this ad article I'm gonna share 20 popular social media sites right now social media networks are a major resource for both small and big businesses that are looking to promote their brands on the internet the platforms are easy to use and some of them even have paid advertising options for businesses that want to reach new audiences however just because your business needs to be on these platforms doesn't mean that it has to be on every other social media site To properly utilize the power of social media, you need to know the most popular social media sites and identify the ones that work best for your business to avoid spreading yourself too thin. To make this easy for you, we profile 20 most popular social media websites so you can now make informed marketing decisions. Popular social media sites in 2016 was Facebook. And this is the biggest social media network on the internet, both in terms of total numbers of users and name recognition. Founded on February 4th, 2004, Facebook has within 12 years managed to accumulate more than 1.59 billion monthly active users. And this automatically makes it one of the best mediums for connecting people from all over the world with your business. It is estimated that more than 1 million small and medium-sized businesses use the platform to advertise their business and also their music. Twitter. You might be thinking that limiting your post to 140 characters is no way to advertise your business, but you will be shocked to know that this social media platform has more than 320 million active monthly users who make use of the 140 character limits to pass on information. Businesses can use Twitter to interact with prospective clients, answer questions, release latest news, and at the same time, use the targeted ads with specific audiences. Twitter was founded on March 21st, 2006 at its headquarters in San Francisco, California. Next one, LinkedIn. Founded on December 14th, 2002, and launched on May 5th, 2003, LinkedIn is hands down the most popular social media site for professional networking. The website is available in 24 languages and has over 4 million registered users. LinkedIn is great for people looking to connect with people in similar industries, networking with local professionals, and displaying business-related information and statistics. Google+. Plus. While it's no Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn, Google Plus had its place among the popular social media websites. Its SEO value alone makes it a must-use tool for any small business. Launched on December 15, 2011,